Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvis video and guys today I woke up this morning I went into the game and I saw this right here news and uh, we had a couple of news So uh, something really really cool for all of you guys waiting for it This is coming the Final Fantasy 13 event dungeon the Gapra Whitewood, meaning that CG Lightning is gonna be out this Friday. So if you guys have been waiting for CG Lightning, she is gonna be out this Friday. And we're gonna start with the King Mog event. So here's the thing we're gonna be able to get. Uh, bigger request, we get a rare summon ticket. The intermediate quest, the, uh, the currency is gonna be credit chips. So obviously you guys can get plenty of credit chips. On the elite quest, you get 500 lapis, which is really good to you, uh, for you to get uh, maybe 5k lapis to do a step on the CG Lightning Batter, or just really, really good in general, 500 lapis. Then legendary, you get 5,000 credit chips. Uh, really cool stuff that you're gonna be able to get from uh, Mr. King Mog, and we're gonna go over it right here. So a throwing weapon. Eagle Talon, FF13, Attack 28, Magic 84, enables Bird Killer, but Magic Bird Killer, so you can increase your uh, magic damage uh, against birds by 50%. Uh, it's not that bad, since uh, you guys can bring this to uh, Steel Castle Malfikia. There, then, there's the Blaze Fire Saber, another thing from FF13, Attack 96, Magic 52, Lightning Elemental Weapon, which is not that bad, also. Then... Sanctum million, uh, Militant Art, boost attack by 10% and boost physical damage against Machina Monster. And Sanctum Militant Law, boost magic by 10% and boost magic damage against Machina Monsters. Uh, I don't know how much the, uh, the killer ability is. Maybe 20%, but nonetheless, uh, it's not that great. Not that great, so you guys can skip on this. Also, you're going to be able to get your hands on a 5-star Select Summon ticket. You're going to be able to fort... Uh, to fort to fight the corpse marksman and the frag leech they're gonna give you increase uh, currency for the event and uh, look out uh, look what I found out Kupo man eater is effective in, against corpse marksman and machine killer is effective against frag leeches Kupo all right so thank you so right here you guys can see the bonus units we will be getting uh, you know what let's not let's not waste any time Let's go, let's just go right here. Unit intro quest, obviously do that so you guys can get your two uh, rare summon ticket from it. And also see the beautiful, beautiful CG lightning uh, or CG animation. Because she's a really, really cool unit and uh, she's going to make your true double wield, uh, true dual wield characters even better. But without further ado, featured summon. Right here, radiant lightning and never ending hope. So it's a really good banner. In my opinion uh, lightning is really really good right here you guys can see she's a debuffer she can also she's a physical attacker uh, if I'm not mistaken if you max her out to the max so let's say uh, 120 out of 120 uh, you're able to cast her limit burst on turn one so uh, yeah pretty nice pretty nice so let's go super trust master the Zan Tetsuken FF 13 it's a sword attack 169 enables radiant uh, radiant paladin Boost LB damage and boost equipment attack when armed with two wanted weapons. So that's really, really, really good. Then her trust master dual form boost equipment attack when armed with two wanted weapons. So that's a true dual wield uh, material right here, which is really good. She got some featured abilities and uh, with some global upgrade love. So let's see right here: paradigm shift, commando, one use every ten turn, boost own attack and damage of certain abilities. Now they were saying on the video on their YouTube channel. Uh, the uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exodus official channel uh, this is gonna go up to 250% so she's gonna be able to buff her stats by two uh, or attack by 250% and she's gonna be able to change the uh, damage on some abilities so that's really really good crushing blow plus I think this will uh, now chain with uh, mirror of equity which is really really nice or uh, bolting strike it's one of the two there's uh, two moves that they chain one of them is going to chain with uh, Bolting Strike and the other one is going to chain with uh, Absolute Mirror Equity. So deal partial to mitigate damage and reduce lightning resistance for one enemy. Number of hits and chain frames have been adjusted. Then she's going to be she's going to get 
double uh, just alt so you're gonna be able to double cast some of her abilities on the same turn which is really really good because you're gonna be able to do some big big amounts of damage with her never ending op basically a buffer debuffer slash magic damage dealer uh super trust master reward right here shining guardian of hope boost mp by 30 percent magic by 50 percent and light resistance by a hundred percent that's really really nice a stress master got some global love basically it was a base stat of 65 on the spirit and now it's 105 it's a little dagger attack 18 magic 117 and 105 of spirit which is really really nice featured abilities defying this destiny hope one use every seven turn boost attack defense magic and spirit and reduce damage taken for four turns to all allies can't wait to see the percentage on this then uh retributive blast deal partial and mitigate magic damage to all enemies number of hits and chain frames have been adjusted so uh this can be able to chain with something else maybe divine renation maybe bolting strike maybe absolute merviquity we never know can chain with everything make a chain with everything then he gets last resort one use every five turns boost on magic and reduce spr and deal partial and mitigate light magic damage to all enemies now we get the boy snow and saz which are seriously irrelevant at this point but nonetheless if you get snow his stress master is really is still really really good for a fist weapon user so cg lightning is coming let's go into the notices because we got some more stuff right here obviously you get that ticket so the more you, the more of the step up you do actually we haven't spoken about the step up right the more of the step up you do you're gonna get some of these little tickets right here so on uh wait are we getting yeah so there you go the tickets are right here tickets right here and tickets right here so on step one two and four you get those little five star tickets the second you get four of those tickets you're guaranteed a rainbow and that rainbow is a 30 percent chance to be a non-banner unit and a 50 percent chance to whether be lightning or hope now the step up is going to cost you twenty five thousand, and it's a five percent rainbow drop rate which is really really nice and uh obviously on friday we're gonna try to get on it, our hands on her because look at that beautiful lightning beautiful lightning i have her on jp i still use her because she's still really really good and uh, she can do a lot of damage especially when you're chaining with everybody else right so just the fact that she's chaining with everybody else it's gonna be really really good then we get the fountain of tickets bundle this thing is coming back so basically when you buy that day one you get a five star guaranteed ticket and for the next 30 days you get one ex ticket and uh last thing last time that thing came around i think it was pretty cheap like 16 or uh, 10 dollars so yeah if you guys want that make sure you buy it because it's still pretty pretty good then free daily summons starting saturday july uh august 3rd because we're getting closer and closer to august so uh you're gonna be able to do free daily summons on the weekend so from the third all the way up to the 6th, then the 10th, all the way up to the 13th, the 17th to the 20th, the 24th to the 27th, and the 31st, all the way up to September 3rd, which is really, really nice. And one more thing before we finish, we're going to go back here to uh, the little front. You know what? Yeah, let's go back to here. Thank you. Thank you for this bundle. Uh, one more thing. Now I need to open my web browser right here. Uh, anniversary follow-up ticket will be given out to players based on the following formula so if I can do this hopefully my big head is not in front of it am I catching it oh wait yeah obviously I need to uh, I need to do this yeah so there you go let me move uh, you know what let me move this way a little bit trying to hide everybody so anniversary follow-up tickets will be given out to the players based on the following formula so current rank times five plus the total daily login so these tickets guys they're not only going to be for summoning units you're going to be able to summon for uh tickets five star ex tickets uh the tickets that you're going to be ex able to exchange for super trust moogles in the future uh so it's going to be a lot of good stuff so guys make sure you still do login because it's going to be able to build up that um that ticket count a little bit more as i'm trying to lean back on the side uh it's going to be able to uh increase that ticket amount for you and also if you're able to rank up go for it guys now it's the time because those tickets are going to be really really good and they can be really really useful for you and for everybody who's playing the game 
So guys, CG Lightning this Friday. Now the real question: Are you gonna be pulling for her? Yes or no? And let me now uh, let me know down in the comments section below. All right. Also, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Leave a like on this video. We're getting closer and closer to the 2,300 mark. Am I close? Yeah, we are really, really close, guys. So let's go a little bit more subscribers. You guys can do it. You guys are amazing. And on this note, I wish you guys have a wonderful day. I'm out.